Hello, Lebanon High School. I've got a few announcements, updates to give you that I wanted to deliver to you myself. Uh, one is, uh, let's work on tardies a little bit. We are in a new season of tracking down people who can't get to places on time. Uh, we hear all the time that you cannot be tardy, or at least you tell us all the time you can't be tardy to lunch. So I'm here to inform you that yes, you can. Uh, you have six minutes to get to lunch on time, just like everywhere else. You need to work your hardest uh, to do that. If somebody stops you in the hallway to put your name on a tardy sheet and you're on your way to lunch, you still need to put your name on that tardy sheet. Uh, don't give anybody a hard time. Make it easy on everybody. It's important that you get everywhere you're supposed to be on time in order for us to maintain order uh, in the whole building throughout the entire day. Um, also, for those of you who drive to school and use our parking lot, that's right, you are using our parking lot, so we will make the rules of how things work in the parking lot. Uh, we are always about this close every day to running over somebody uh, with our cars. I do not want to kill anybody in the parking lot this school year. So we are going to change the flow slightly. Everybody is going to go out the same direction. When you back out of your spot, we're all going uh, towards the back of the lot and driving around. So we've got a lot of drivers who want to whip around and get in that first lane. Uh, a couple things, when you whip around, uh, you're inches away from killing somebody because uh, you're going way too fast. And that's also clogging up the parking lot and slowing everybody from getting out. So we're going to empty all of the lanes of traffic in the same direction uh, and once everybody's going the same direction, um, it's going to flow a lot easier. There will be sawhorses up today blocking those lanes so that you cannot go out the wrong way. If you touch a sawhorse, you will be responsible uh, for the consequences that come to that. So I am telling you, don't touch a sawhorse, don't move a sawhorse. If you do, then you are refusing to comply with our rules. And uh, I think you know what consequences are for that. Nobody needs to be in ISS all day for touching a sawhorse. That's just dumb. Uh, make better choices. Uh, this is to maintain order. This is to uh, guarantee your safety in the parking lot. So please follow this rule. For those of you who may need uh, some information, <laughs> evidently information on what a sawhorse is. It's those blue and white wooden things it's a, got two legs like this and a board across the top. We painted them blue and then they have a white stripe in the middle. Uh, I guess they kind of look like they've got four legs, so people call them saw horses. Uh, how about if there's any structure blocking a lane in the parking lot, don't touch it, don't move it, uh, unless we ask you to. So uh, the other thing I want to remind everybody about, this is extremely important, is that registration begins this week. Uh, rising seniors, that means current juniors. We want to get all of yours done this week. Uh, you have uh, forms, you have uh, the course catalog, you've done this years in the past, so you know what to do. Meet with your counselor during lunch, get your classes chosen for next year so we don't have to choose them for you. Next week we'll start working on uh, current sophomores who are rising juniors, and then the uh, last week, so this will last three weeks, uh, we will work on those of you who are currently freshmen and rising sophomores. Uh, so we want to get everybody's finished within the next three weeks. Uh, spend five to ten minutes talking to your counselor during lunch. Uh, let's get that taken care of. I know uh, what your schedule looks like next year is very important to you. Uh, so take the time uh, to do that correctly. Uh, also, my last little shout out to seniors is that you only have a couple of more chances to raise that ACT score. Uh, February 8th is the next date to take the ACT on a Saturday. After that, there's a date in April and June and July. All of those can count uh, for you as a graduating senior. As far as what we want to see, I know a lot of you are this close to breaking that 30 barrier uh, to get your picture on the wall in the Commons. We want you to do that. Uh, we will cut it off after the February test date and go with whoever has a 30 or higher after February. So we got to cut that off. We want you to enjoy seeing your picture uh, this school year. We don't want to do that in the summer. Um, so everybody pay attention to those deadlines. And uh, that's all I got for you. Have a great day, LHS.